filming? Yeah, I'm filming. Yeah, I'll ask. Yeah. So, so this is a Hitachi uh, HD TV yes. with built-in uh, uh, DVR. To be clear, yeah? HD TV. This is an HD TV display. It doesn't yeah? have an HD TV tuner in. Yeah. But it's a full HD 1920 1080 panel. So if you have a Premiere box or a high definition satellite cable, whichever country, this will display it. Right. But we also have built into it twin DVB-T tuners. Oh, yeah? And as well as the twin DVB-T tuners, we have the 250 gig hard disk for recording DVB-T. And DVB-T up to HD resolution? Standard resolution. Standard resolution, yeah. 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 There's a lot of issues over copyright with oh, yeah. high definition. The broadcasters... Yeah, it's not, um, it's not ready yet. So the DVB-T HD will be external? Yes. Yeah, and with also external... HD or satellite will come from a separate yeah. box. And then, uh, you have the same TV there, but there's a difference. This is the model available in Japan. Yeah. What we're actually showing here is it's effectively the same machine. Yeah. But you can see here we have a removable hard drive. All right. And IVDR. Yeah. IVDR, which is information versatile disk for removable use. All right. The idea is you can now instantly increase the size of your hard disk. Yeah. Recording capacity. Or you can archive from this hard disk onto that one, or you can record onto separate hard disks different yeah. contents for movies, etc. Or you can buy the TV without any hard disk and buy it afterwards. You can buy the, t the TV has a built-in. Yeah. Anyway, there's always anyway. a built-in. Yeah. That is optional. So, optional. like most removable media, you yeah. buy that like an SD card right. or anything else and plug in as you want it. Right. Buy as many as you like or as few as you like. So it plugs in uh, over there on, the yep. on this on this side here. All right. So this is already on the market. This is, uh, this is already on the market. This is already on the market in Japan, yeah. and what we're doing, we're showing the technology here yeah. to gauge opinion. Is this something that the customer actually wants? And what is the benefit? So if we get, we're currently we're getting a very warm response to it. So right. I think if this continues, we will sit down at the end of the show and we will look to when we can launch this product in Europe. Because a lot of people have like a DVD burning DVR, something like that, you know. But this is like easier. Yeah. But imagine already 80 gig, 160 gig. Yeah. It will of course increase up to 320 gig. Yeah. And on. And it's approximately the same price as the hard drive. Currently, the pricing is being discussed because it's not available in Europe. Yeah. Um, we believe that like for like, it's going to be equivalent sort of price to a removable, to a uh, an external yeah. hard drive. Because is, is it basically just uh, some plastic around the hard drive, or is there also some electronics? Essentially, it's that with a, a, a connector, but there is some special software yeah. to protect the content. So yeah. you cannot just take content from this yeah. and put it anywhere. There is some security protection, yeah. so it will only play on the device that has the other half of the yeah. connection. That's what the S stands for, right? Yes, yeah. secure. So, and that makes the content providers and the distributors happy. It should do. It, it should do. Well. Yeah. Of course, we're still talking to them. Yeah. Uh, we cannot say what every content provider will require. Yeah. But this system has satisfied uh, all of the broadcasters in Japan that it's yeah. a secure, safe system and the content's protected. Because in Japan, also the content providers they want the DRM. Yes. They they re requ require it. If not, they will sue. Or what will they do? I think the issue is every it depends what country and what yeah. broadcaster but everybody is very sensitive about rights we yeah. want to make sure that they are happy yeah. with us using a hard disk so we are taking every making every effort yeah. to make sure we put in sensible content. but it also supports uh, IVDR without the S you can get yeah. IVDR without the S but we are only looking to support the secure system for television use. Right. If you wanted to use it for PC use, yeah. maybe you don't need the S version. But for right. TV use, the secure system is what we're yeah. looking to so IVDR will fit in TVs and PMPs everywhere. That could be. That could happen. Is it not only will it go in this? It will yeah. go in your music player. It will go in your car. Why don't you take all your content and plug it into your car player? Um, it could be any sort of device. Yeah. So as well as TVs, any other type of player. And there is already a PC drive. But again, I just stress the secure implications. It's designed to go to consumer products. In the yeah.
All right, so in a way it can s compete with the Blu-ray and the HD DVD. Well, it's, I mean, it's quite capable of high-definition yeah. device, yes, yeah. it can. I mean, it's a, a high-storage, high-definition capability, yeah. so yes, it's there. Can we easily just see the interface of it with the remote? Can we look at the... Uh, this is a Japanese sample, yeah. so if I plug it in, you'll only get Japanese... Japanese things, Yeah. I but just to check it out, yeah? This is the remote. The remote, yes. Yeah? This is the remote of it. This is Japanese. So you just clicked on one button to come there. Yeah. You click on the HDD or IVDR button down yeah. there. And here is the content. As I plug it in, it shows yeah? the content. We can bring it up again. Okay. So uh, yeah, change to the. Yeah, the change the new row. Uh, Those are how the thumbnails look like in the DVR functionality. Exactly. Every time you make a recording, you get a thumbnail. Yeah. If it's recorded from the EPG, you yeah. get title information, you get the time of the recording, and also note the two little stars. Yeah. This indicates that it's not been previously watched. All right. So if you quickly want to delete something, you can tell what's been watched and what right. hasn't. So very easy to do. And IVDR is, uh, is there's a consortium of uh, companies manufacturing it? Yes, it is. Can we check the, yep. is it on the yep. brochure? Um, Say. Probably on the web search. Yeah, it's not here. Yeah. Right, but there's several companies working together to make this a standard. There are. Yeah, there are several companies in Japan, several yeah. major consumer electronics companies, yeah. to try and develop this as a standard for yeah. consumer electronics. So All right. that is our purpose, consumer electronics. All right, thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Thank so now the IVDR is plugged in, and this is the interface of the stuff that's on the IVDR. Yes. Alright. Okay, showing the titles. The yeah. fact that it's locked to prevent accidental yeah. erasure. Uh, erasure. erasure. Yeah. It doesn't mean that it only works on this TV. That's a different matter. This is secure yeah. in this TV on this hard disk, as we mentioned. Yeah. But you can, you can move contents. Yeah. So if it's only on this disk, you can then play it in another one of these TVs. But you cannot move it to another disk. You can move it to another device that is has the recognized interface. All right. You cannot just take it from here and put it into, say, a PC without it. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. And this is like the whole management in Japanese over there. Well, this one is because this is, let's say, the Japanese yeah. set, so the European set. A bit easier right. for me to understand. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you.